You know, everybody was on their nerves. Everybody. You know why? Truth. They're not afraid of Ricky Gervais as a person. It's what's gonna... It's what's gonna come through his throat. Everybody's like, oh, I don't know. You know what I mean? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hello, and welcome to the 77th Annual Golden Globe Awards, live from the Beverly Hilton Hotel here in Los Angeles. I'm Ricky Gervais. Thank you. Um, You'll, you'll be pleased to know this is the last time I'm hosting these awards, so I don't care. They're like, oh, fuck. No. Why is it the last time? What's going to happen, man? I anymore. Um, I'm joking. <coughs> I never did. Um, <laughs> NBC clearly don't care either. Fifth time. So, I mean, Kevin Hart was fired from the Oscars because of some offensive tweets. Hello. <laughs> Lucky for me, the Hollywood foreign press can barely speak English and they've no idea what Twitter is. So I got offered this gig by fax. So let's go out with a bang. Let's have a laugh at your expense, shall we? Remember, they're just jokes. We're all going to die soon and there's no sequel. So I wonder how many actors maybe don't want to take a part in a movie. Mm. Uh, especially if it has the potential of getting a golden globe, uh, if they know they gotta have to come there and sit there while this guy is hosting. Like, no, not that guy. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want that part. Yeah, remember that. Um, but you all look lovely, all dolled up. You came here in your limos. I can't. <laughs> oh shit! Look at that yeah, face. I know, I know. That's a I face of... I the look of Tom Hanks, though, best here. Yeah, but that's a face of worry. Yeah. You know, like, like a deer in the headlines or something. Deer in a limo tonight, and the license plate was made by Felicity Huffman. So, no. Shush. Click it's, it. her, it's her daughter I feel sorry for, okay? That must be the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to her. And her dad was in Wild Hogs. So, lots of big celebrities here tonight. I mean, legends, icons, yeah? Look, at this table alone. Uh, Al Pacino, Robert De Niro. But... <laughs> <laughs> Baby Yoda. Look at that guy. Wait, wait, wait. That guy. In, in between uh, De Niro and that girl. Mm. I think his name is Scorsi or something. Yeah. Uh, director. Mm. He doesn't look happy at all. He looks like somebody died that is at a funeral. Baby Yoda. Oh, oh that's, that's Joe Pesci, sorry. Um, I love you, man. Don't have me whacked. Um, but tonight isn't just about the people in front of the camera. In this room are some of the most important TV and film executives in the world. People from every background, but they all have one thing in common. They're all terrified of Ronan Farrow. <laughs> He's coming for you. He's the guy behind me too. Look, talking of all you perverts, it was a big year. It was a big year for paedophile movies. Did you see what? Did you see what he did there? He he linked them mm. first by saying you perverts, yeah. and then he said pedophile. Mm. So he links them to it. Take that back again. He's coming for you. Look, talking of all you perverts, it was a big <laughs> year. It was a big year for paedophile movies. Um, 
Surviving R. Kelly, Leaving Neverland. Which was bullshit. Leaving Neverland is a bullshit Absolutely. documentary about Michael Jackson. Two popes. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. I don't care. I don't care. Many talented people of colour were snubbed in major categories. Um, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that. The Hollywood foreign press are all very, very racist. So, fifth time. <laughs> <laughs> what is that face, right? Yeah. Looking so important, like, you know. That's another worried face. Mm. So, it's almost like you could get a heart attack, stop yeah. What? Uh -huh. I'm humble. Come in. It's almost like he could get a heart attack there, depending on what would come out from Gervais' mouth. Mm. You're gonna pick him up? No, he doesn't want to. Okay. We were gonna do an in memoriam this year, but when I saw the list of people that had died, it wasn't diverse enough. It <laughs> just, no. It was mostly white people, and I thought, nah, not on my watch. So, maybe next year. Let's let's see what happens. <laughs> no one cares about movies anymore. No one goes to the cinema. No one really watches network no. TV. Everyone's watching Netflix. For me, the nail in the coffin would probably be the Matrix 4 thing. That it sucked no. so bad. It's like, all right, movies are dead. Mm. Bam. This show should just be me coming out going, well done, Netflix, you win everything. Good night. But no, no, we've got to drag it out for three hours. You could binge watch the entire first season of Afterlife instead of watching this show. That, that's a show about a man who wants to kill himself because his wife dies of cancer. And it's still more fun than this, OK? <laughs> Spoiler alert, um, season two is on the way. So in the end, he obviously didn't kill himself. Just like Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> Shut up! I know he's your friend, but I don't care. And I see that smile. It's like, that yeah, smile. I yeah, know. it's true, but yeah. fuck, you know, uh, you know, that's that's what that means. You know what I mean? It's a cat. Huh? Oh, My cables and shit. Huh? Spoiler alert. Um, season two is on the way, so in the end, he obviously didn't kill himself. Just like Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> Shut up! I know he's your friend, but I don't care. <laughs> you had to make your own one. <laughs> yeah. She's from Gilmore Girls, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, she is. I think so. Mm, yeah, she is. She's like, he's not doing this right now. I mean, he's not doing this right now. What do you know? That, what have you done? Yeah, that face knows a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You had to make your own way here and your own plane, didn't you? Right. But <laughs> seriously, <laughs> most films are awful. Lazy. Remakes. Sequels. <laughs> I've heard a rumour that there might be a sequel to Sophie's Choice. I mean, that would just be Meryl Streep going, well, it's got to be this one then. <laughs> <laughs> That's my choice. All the best actors have jumped to Netflix and HBO, you know. And the actors who just do Hollywood movies now do fantasy adventure nonsense. They wear masks and capes and really tight costumes. Their job isn't acting anymore. <laughs> it's going to the gym twice a day and taking steroids, really. Have we got, a, have we got an award for most ripped junkie? No. No point. We know he'd win that. Um, Martin Scorsese, the greatest living director, made the news for his controversial comments about the Marvel franchise. He said they're not real cinema and uh, they remind him of theme parks. I agree. Although I don't know what he's doing hanging around theme parks. He's not big enough to go on the rides, is he? <laughs> it's tiny. He's like, yes, I came off quite uh, lenient. Mm. Like, okay, good. <laughs> I'm safe. Right. The Irishman <laughs> was amazing. It was amazing. Um, look, it was. My fact, my, it was great. Uh, <laughs> long, but amazing. Um, it wasn't. The look at uh, what is his name? Uh, Tarantino. Oh, yeah. He He's doesn't right. look comfortable either. No. You know what it is? It, it doesn't necessarily mean that everybody has done shit, mm. but I think they all are like linked in some ways. You yeah. know what I mean? 
He knows what he did. He knows what that did. You know, it's like, ah, oh, I think there's something like that. Long, like a cult. But amazing. Um, it wasn't the only epic movie. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, nearly three hours long. Leonardo DiCaprio attended the premiere, and by the end, his date was too old for him. So... <laughs> Even Prince Andrew's like, come on, Leo, mate, you know. <laughs> I love, it, I love that he brings that up also. Yeah, he tied yeah. DiCaprio to Prince mm. Andrew, mm. and Prince Andrew is tied to Epi Boy. You know what I mean? Listen, people, if you haven't seen Prince Andrew's ah, interview, that is comedy from 2019. Yeah, that is comedy. That is pure comedy. That shit That's was one so... of the funniest things I've seen. Yeah, yeah that but... interview with Prince Andrew yeah. was hilarious. Mm. We've seen it just to get a laugh. Yeah, we've seen it many times, yeah. and I could also see it again. Yeah, I, I could it's also so see good. it again. It's so good. <laughs> it's so fucking good how he gets uh, nailed in that one. You're nearly 50, son. Um, the world son. got to see James Corden as a fat pussy. <laughs> he was also in the movie Cats, but no one saw that. Um... And the reviews, oh, shocking. I saw one that said, this is the worst thing to happen to cats since dogs, right? <laughs> but Dame Judi Dench defended the film, saying it was the role she was born to play, because she... I can't do this next joke. <laughs> because she loves nothing better than plonking herself down on the carpet, lifting her leg and licking her own minge. Furball, furball. She's old school. Um, it's the last time, who cares? Oh. Apple roared into the, the TV game with a morning show. A superb drama, yeah. Now look at him. He doesn't even look human. This guy looks like a, I don't know. Uh, yeah, right? There's something weird with this yeah. guy. But you know what? You know what's almost funnier than what Rick Gervais is doing is looking at these mm. people. That's almost funnier. A superb drama about <laughs> the importance of dignity and doing the right thing made by a company that runs sweatshops in China. So, well, you say you're woke, but the companies you work for, I mean, unbelievable. Apple, Amazon, Disney. <laughs> if ISIS started a streaming service, you'd call your agent, wouldn't you? So, if you do win an award tonight, don't use it as a, a platform to make a political speech, right? You're in no position to lecture the public about anything. You know nothing about the real world. Most of you spent less time in school than Greta Thunberg. So, if you win, <laughs> right, come up, accept your little award, thank your agent and your god, and fuck off, OK? <laughs> so... It's already three hours long. Right, let's do the first award. The first award. <laughs> I, I recognize that. That's like when I do a long, boring uh. song. Fuck, man. The first award is for best actor in a television series, musical or comedy. To present the award are a couple of actors off the television, <laughs> I say. Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon. <laughs> In a little while, we're going to see a, a short clip from The Irishman. Um, it's 88 minutes long. <laughs> uh, <laughs> in the middle, <coughs> here are Sofia Vergara and Matt Bomer. Welcome back. Still having a good time? Good. As you know, the meal tonight was all vegetables as are the members of the Hollywood Foreign Press. <laughs> Please welcome their president, Lorenzo Soria. <laughs> Knives Out has three nominations tonight. Yeah. See what can happen if you don't dress people up as cats. It's, it's that easy. Here are two of the nominated stars, Anna de Armas and Daniel Craig. 
I've got nothing negative to say about these next two presenters because the big one could snap me in half. So please welcome Zoe Kravitz and Jason Momoa. That guy, Jason Momoa. I've seen a video, a nasty video of that ah, guy. Ah, right. You, you know, the me, aqua yeah. guy. Yeah, you showed me. The talking. aqua man. Mm. With, a, with, a, with, with his girl. own daughter. Ah, that was his He's daughter. like... Uh, this whole place is a demon's nest. You know what I mean? Their time is up. It's over. Hollywood is over. Kill me. We need <laughs> Jesus. Three, it's already three. Right, um last one, last <laughs> one. Come on guys. Our next presenter starred in Netflix's Bird Box, a movie where people survive by acting like they don't see a thing. Sort of like working for Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> You did it. You, I didn't. You did it. Shut the fuck up. I love it. Please welcome Sandra Bullock. Oh, shit, I don't know if I've seen that. Yeah, yeah, you have. You just forgot it. You did it. You, I didn't. You did it. Shut the fuck up. A movie where people survive by acting like they don't see a thing. Sort of like working for Harvey Weinstein. You did it. You, I didn't. You did it. Shut the fuck up. So I, I feel that he is actually saying what he's been longing for to say. Yeah. He's saying what he's thinking. He thought like this time, fuck it, I'm gonna say everything. Well, shouldn't these people be cancelled now because of this? They should. But they won't. Of course not. Anyways, I think that's over. Please welcome Sandra Bullock. That's it. Good night. Thank you. Please donate to Australia. Have a great time. Get drunk. Take your drugs. <laughs> Why did they censor that at the end? It's like, dude. Great yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, that one is absolutely great. Super. They cancelled that shit this year or something, right? I don't know. I think so. Maybe. Um, Maybe. For, because of the coup. I don't know. What? Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, ba 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 Hasn't been gone as far as I know. Ah, oh, Lazy Grey talking about the Kendrick. What is this?